Well, hey friends, I was just about ready to sit down and edit my homeschool haul video, and I realized I hadn't even filmed an intro. So, this is me <laughs> in my jammies filming an intro. Um, this is a homeschool haul, um, and it is all the stuff that we collected over the summer to homeschool this upcoming year. Of course, we'll collect a few resources along the way, different library books and books to add to our collection and probably a few games I have my eyes on and you know just some other things but these are all of the things that we picked up to get things started for the year so it's a long video grab a snack grab a drink and let's get going okay so I picked up these index index dividers um, these were at Walmart and you got 24 in a pack I loved the colors I also got a few of these folders, these were, were from the Dollar Tree. I think I have a few more floating around, but <laughs> couldn't find them. Um, love this color as well. I got a few of these binders. Um, I got these binders last year. Um, they're from Walmart. They are the Pen and Gear brand. I used these, I had one for almost each subject. We're adding a couple new subjects this year, so I wanted to pick up a couple more. And so in them I had folders and I had all pertinent paperwork that I would need or that the kids would need. It just made organizing our homeschool a whole lot better. So I grabbed a couple more just in case they don't carry this color anymore um, that I would have them in years to come. So this one we're actually using for math. Haven't fully got it together but um, this one was actually a different binder. The same pen and gear brand, the same color but it's a bit more souped up. Um, it has these kind of pockets here and it has this um, binder clip system where you can't pull the rings apart you have to use the tab. Little, It was just a couple dollars more but I thought this would be more for kind of my teacher binder something that I would be using more on a consistent daily basis. I'm not using this one this year as a teacher binder. I have a different one that I will show you. Um, same brand, different color but I grabbed it just in case, again, they don't carry that color anymore. I also got some copy paper for the printer. I picked up some laminating sheets. These were from Walmart. The price was not great. Um, so I ended up getting some on Amazon. I actually went through this pack already. I got some from Amazon. It's the Amazon brand. You get 100 I think they were for around $16 Canadian. And I will forevermore just buy them on Amazon because it's so much cheaper. This game is something my mother-in-law picked up for us actually this summer. It is a learning game um, and it has these like sectioned fruits and it's to help your kiddos learn fractions. And so we will be working on fractions this year so this will be a really great resource. So these pencils I actually saw on uh, Deanna's channel, Taming the Frizz. She had something similar. I think these were the same ones but I could be wrong. They're a triangular shaped pencil that are designed for kids and Colt is going to be really learning how to hold a pencil this year and Aubrey still could use a bit of help. Um, so she had linked to these on Amazon but I'm in Canada and it doesn't often compute very well as far as switching between Amazon Canada and Amazon USA. The very next day I actually was at Staples and I saw these and I picked them up. They had a few different styles but this was the style that we would need the most and it came with a little sharpener so I was really excited to see those. I picked up this little wire shopping basket um, at the thrift store for buck ninety nine. We have a cash register and last year we were learning money and we played a game where I had you know lots of different things from our house and I gave them prices and Aubrey would have to use her money to buy them and I would make the change and back and forth kind of thing. Um, anyways, I thought this shopping basket would be a lot of fun for us to use. Inside I have some washi tape and this is from the Dollar Tree. We'll be doing a space unit this year and I thought this would just be kind of fun to decorate my planner and decorate some of this stuff for the unit. I also picked up these pencils for myself. They're just a mechanical pencil, but loved those rainbow colors, um, and these were from the Dollar Tree. So moving back here, um, we are going to be doing teaching textbooks this year, and we're going to be doing it online. And so I wanted a pair of headphones for Aubrey to use while she, you know, is on the computer. So I found these on Amazon. They had really good reviews. They are a kid headphone. 
um, so that you can't turn the volume up too loud. They are really nice. Um, they are compatible with an iPod, iPhone, iPad, and Android products. It does have a cord. I just have them inside the inside the box right now. Um, but these are really great. They had really great reviews out of um, a lot of the kid headphones. I will link those down below if you are interested. Next, we got a ton of loose leaf paper. Um, I had worked through a lot of the loose leaf paper that I had. In fact, I probably had it for like yikes guys like probably longer than I've been married um and that was I've been married this year it'll be 11 years um so it was time to get more and this one on top is plain sheets actually and I thought this would be really good for the kids for drawing and stuff like that I just picked this up at Walmart and then I just have these are mostly for me they're college ruled um pages I love college ruled um so I'm going to probably just stick those aside mostly for myself and the kids have other things that they can use to write on. So this thing is not maybe something that we're going to use this year. We're not really doing anything with animals, but I wanted to pick this up because I had had it in my Amazon cart and I wanted to make sure that I picked it up for the amazing price of $4.99. Um, so this is a hands-on learning experience. I think there's a few different styles of these, but there is like a fact book, a poster, stickers, um, and there's little figurines, there's dioramas, and it's all to help you teach the world animals. So for five dollars you can't go wrong, um, and again if you are near Ollie's, it is a great place for finding homeschool resources and absolutely wonderful place. Sometimes you have to dig through things, but they have so much educational stuff and we have outfitted our homeschool with a lot of products that we have found from Ollie's. Okay, so now let's get into like the fun stuff for the kids. <laughs> um, so I got two packs of crayons, 64 each. I am thinking that I'm going to give one to Aubrey and one to Colt. He is famous for breaking crayons and I know that there's those twistable crayons but to be perfectly honest I'm just I'm not into spending that much for twistable crayons um these are just so much cheaper if he breaks them he can use the broken ones I don't care but I want Aubrey to have a box that she can use nicely so one for will be for Colt one for her I found these little binders at Staples. So the Better Binder is a Staples brand binder. They are really quite awesome. Um, all of the edging where a binder would typically break apart is reinforced with a rubber. Um, the binders themselves, like I was told from a Staples employee, are actually money back guarantee. So if they break or something like that, you can take it in and get a new one. Um, anyways, these are just little fun things. They're small. I mean, they're like smaller than the size of my hand. Um, but I thought it was just something cute and fun for them for back to school. So the pink one will be for Aubrey and Colt will get the green one. These were on clearance. I think they were only like a dollar each. And then we got lots of markers. So I went to a couple different stores on a few different days to do shopping and I had forgotten what I got because the one day when I did my big Walmart shop, I was running out of time and I was doing it so fast. Like I shopped for everything in 15 minutes and I was just throwing things in the cart that I was that I knew we needed. Um, so I picked up these Playday um, markers. There's 36 beautiful colors and they were only just a few dollars. And same with the Crayola ones. These were a 24 pack. I think they were $2. Um, and again, with young kids, I've got a four year old and I've got a seven year old. Seven year old does a little bit better with markers, but the four year old, not so much. So we have these, and some of these maybe even just will go into our home art cubby so that um, they have stuff to use that aren't school related. And then the last part for this portion of the haul is these washable kids paints. We're going to do a lot of stuff with art this year and I thought these would be fun to use with some of our art projects. Okay, so I picked up Colt a backpack. This will be his first year of official school and Aubrey has, she went to public school for a couple years and she got a couple backpacks and it's about time that this little guy had one. So we got this one from Staples. Um, it was $20. 
Um, and he likes the colors, he likes the sharks, and I think this will work well for him. So you might be wondering, why would a homeschooler need a backpack? Um, we do a lot of things outside of the house and mama doesn't want to carry everything. Um, I'm pregnant now and the less I have to carry, um, that the kids can carry, the better. <laughs> um, and plus it's just, um, so he will use that this year. I had these in the other bit of the haul, but I think I forgot to tell you about them. Um, just two rulers, one for Aubrey and one for Colt. This is that other binder I was talking about that would be my teacher binder. It's this gorgeous hot pink color. I'm not sure if it's totally coming up right on camera, but oh, it's gorgeous. Um, and it is that Pen and Gear brand from Walmart. I just made this printable um, for the front of it. And I've got it all put together already. Um, I just have some folders. These are um, some printables that I made. I have a whole walkthrough of my teacher binder from last year and I will go ahead and leave a card for that. I won't go through the whole thing here. I updated some of the printables a bit, added a few more that we would need, um, but they all basically look like this with a different heading. So I've got one for like history, geography, extracurricular, classroom, all kinds of things like that. Um, this is a password sheet. So and then I just have several folders throughout. These are also Pen and Gear brands. I have some hot pink ones that are Pen and Gear brands. And this is my teacher binder. Um, separate from my planner, I need sheets like this to just help me get all of the things out of my head. Kind of brain dumping pages, if you will. And then from there, I can make lesson plans and plan things out and then put them on my actual planner. So that's my teacher binder. I picked up two packs of the fat Crayola markers. We are so we're so full of markers, guys, because look, here's another pack of markers of 30. Um, and again, these are the broadline markers, the big ones. Um, nice, big and fat and lots of fun. <laughs> I picked up a new pencil sharpener. We don't have an electric sharpener. We don't have a crank one. I just used something like this last year and it totally worked fine for us. Um, I would just sit and sharpen pencils while the kiddos were doing their work and it wasn't really that big of a deal. Someday I will get a real pencil sharpener, but it just wasn't something that I needed this year. So we got the world's best pencil, um, Ticonderoga. We had a pack of these last year and they worked so great. So I got um, just some normal ones. Then I also got a pair of neon ones that are up here that I'll show you. Um, we had the neon ones last year and one pack of pencils worked the entire school year for us. Um, I also got two packs of colored pencils, and they both came with a little sharpener, which is kind of fun. One for Aubrey and one for Colt. We got some glue sticks, a pair of scissors for Colt, and a couple pair of scissors for Aubrey. I got this gorgeous pack of dry erase markers. These were from Walmart, and they have two different tips on them. So the finer tip and then the more broad tip. So back here I got a index card box and some index cards that are plain and then the neon colored ones. Some thank you notes. Those are from Party City. Um, I think I paid one or two dollars for them and in our language arts it suggested that your child writes a thank you note at least once a month. I hadn't even read that part of our curriculum yet and I'd already bought these because Aubrey has people in her life that give her things, um, and I want her to be able to write thank you notes back to them without having to dip into my thank you notes or have to make something, because if you have to make something, sometimes it just doesn't happen. That's what, that's what I've learned. So I just wanted her to have her own little set of thank you notes. We got some um, correction tape, liquid paper mate, um, Sharpies, yay for Sharpies. So I got this Electro Pop set with some fun colors and then a pack of black ones. I've already dipped into the black ones because I needed a Sharpie. So these things are just for me to have. Um, back here we have got more colored pencils. And then those are those Ticonderoga neon pencils that I mentioned. We had them last year and just, they, <laughs> they were really great. I love the colors and the kids did too. And then last for this section, I got this little blue bin. This was from, um, Walmart as well and came with a lid and as you can see 
we are using a lot of that blue color in our homeschool. So I saw that bin. It was the only one they had, so I threw it in my cart because one can never have enough bins. Okay, so let's talk art supplies. So like I mentioned, art is going to be something that we kind of focus on this year. Aubrey loves art. I love art, but I'd sort of gotten away from it, um, and I'm excited to kind of dive into it a bit this year with her. And with Colt, of course, this all goes for him as well, but he's in kindergarten, so he might not just be as interested in some of this stuff, but let me share with you what we got. So first I got these two um, watercolor pan sets from Michael's. Here in Canada, I think they were $7.50, um, lots of pretty colors, and one is going to be for me and one is going to be for Aubrey. I think I will get Colt, just one of those really inexpensive, like, primary set, um, watercolor sets, if he's interested. Then I got this watercolor pad, and this was also for Michaels. I think this was $5.99. This was the most inexpensive pad of paper. This was located in the kids section, like with the kids art supplies. Um, it came with 40 sheets and I don't know, I'm just, I'm excited about it. Um, I didn't wanna buy like the actual artist watercolor pads, which were more expensive. This will work great for us. We're just, you know, we're not looking for like professional grade things here. Um, I will probably, I'm guessing we'll probably go through this fairly quickly, um, but it's good to know that it's a fairly good price, and yeah. Um, I picked this up for myself at the Dollar Tree. So this is from Crayola, and it's how to learn to calligraphy. So I guess, I guess all those markers are gonna come in handy, but I thought this would be something that I would do while they're doing some of their morning work and things like that. So I'm kind of excited to to go through this. I've always wanted to learn to do hand calligraphy, and um, I know some people who actually do have learned to do calligraphy with Crayola markers. So I think this will be fun. Um, we got some paint brushes. So this is the Crayola set. This was $2.99 at Michaels. They only had one set. If they had more, I would have probably got another one, um, but they didn't. So. I also picked up this set. It's a watercolor set as well. I actually have like squeezy tube watercolors already in our art set, so um, hopefully these are okay. I mean, we're, again, we're not looking for anything professional here, but um, something that will work pretty all right. And then I got um, two of these plastic palettes for mixing colors and whatnot. Okay, so let's talk books. I have fallen in love with the idea of reading aloud to my kids. Um, I have fallen in love with the Read Aloud Revival podcast um, by Sarah McKenzie, and I bought her book. I read it cover to cover, all about reading aloud with your children and the benefits of it, even your high schoolers. Um, so reading with my kids is a huge emphasis for this year. Now, I have a lot of books here. These books are not all the things that we're going to read this year. Some of these won't even be touched this year. But I picked them up because I found them like at the thrift store or whatever um, at a good <laughs> price or, um, you know, I just found them at a good price basically for all of these. Um, so let me go through them with you. The top two books here, one is Goldilocks and the Three Bears and the other is Little Red Riding Hood. I thought they were beautiful. <laughs> I just loved those quality illustrations and these would be things that we read during our um, morning basket time. And then I found this book at the thrift store, um, Exploring the Titanic. We are not going to go over that this year, but again, this looks like a really good reference book for the point in time when we do go over the Titanic. My husband and I actually went to Vegas and toured the Titanic, um, what was it? The Titanic, I don't know, experience or whatever that they have had traveling around the country. It was phenomenal. Like, it was so good like you got to feel like what the iceberg felt like like the temperature of the night there they had a huge piece of the titanic but it was only it was a huge piece to be next to but it was really only like a tiny little square they had artifacts they had a reproduction of the um third class state or the third class rooms and hallways and everything it was crazy um so just found that very fascinating anyways we picked up that book 
I also got this children's thesaurus um, at the thrift store as well. We are going to be learning about reference books and things like that and having a good thesaurus geared towards kids was something I thought would be great for us. <laughs> um, I also got Mr. Popper's Penguins, Island of the Blue Dolphins, and Tiger Rising. And again, these were all from the thrift store. I got this one lone boxcar children book, uh, number 44. I loved the boxcar children books in school. I had so many of them, like a huge collection, and I sadly think that along the way they've gotten either lost or destroyed or donated, and I'm so sad about that. So the Boxcar Children is a series that I think that I will actually buy, but I'm looking to see for the ones that I can find at the thrift store. So I found one so far, um, but I'm going to keep looking. But we are definitely going to start on the Boxcar Children series this year. And then next... Um, I got Black Beauty. So these books were at our local bookstore. It's called Chapters. It's kind of like Barnes & Noble. Um, these were only $6, and they had tons of different classics. And we also got The Little Prince. I think that's it. The Little Prince is in Aubrey's room. She's been reading that. Um, but they had lots and lots and lots of these books. For 6 bucks. I was like, yes, take my money for some classic books. And then The Wizard of Oz. So I have not read this book, but I hear that the book is like way better than the movie um, with a lot more stuff in it. So I'm excited to read that. Again, I'm not sure if we'll read it this year because we have lots of books on our shelf that I'd like to go through. But um, if not this year, then definitely next. And then this is just an adapted version of the Tom Sawyer, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. This was at Michael's and it was $1. Um, it is adapted, but... I think that's okay. I actually haven't really ever read Mark Twain or Tom Sawyer, so you know, the more that I can get into my kids, the better. Um, even if it is an adapted version, we got the Hundred Dresses. Um, this is one book that came really highly recommended. It is in a lot of um, reading lists that I see. Aubrey's really, really excited to read this, so I think this will be one of our first read alouds. I also got these two books at uh, the thrift store, and actually, um, one of you, who's a te former teacher, said that these were really good books. So this is Josephina's, the Josephina Story Quilt. Uh, my mom is a quilter, and um, so this is <laughs> I picked this up kind of as a nod to her. I shared about it in my recent thrift haul, but um, so there's that, and then this um, the Drinking Gourd book, and we got. Um, four of these little books. So this is uh, Jack and the Beanstalk, The Three Little Pigs, The Ugly Duckling, and Three Billy Goats Gruff. So these are from my, or Walmart. These are from Walmart. I have a couple that I picked up before and the kids really liked them. Um, the illustrations are kind of fun and cute. But it tells us um, the classic story of, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> um, and the illustrations are fun and it was just a neat way to introduce classic stories to my kids in an inexpensive way too. <laughs> um, this will be the devotion that we're going to go through this year. So this is by Billy Graham and oh, just so cute. Hope for each day. Um, hope is like the word, my word of the year, joy and hope. And hope has been coming up so much for me um, in recent recent weeks and months and um, I think this is going to be a wonderful book for us to go through this year. Okay so I've got one last final section in our homeschool haul. Um, I am so excited about these books. So this series is called Little People Big Dreams and they follow um, women, famous women within our history um, and it takes their story and puts it on a childlike level um, in such a beautiful way. So I actually had these in my Amazon cart um, later this year. I think it's February, maybe March. Whenever Women's History Month is, maybe I should know that, but I don't. I can't remember. Um, we are going to, um, our picture books uh, study will be on famous women in history. And so I had wanted these books for that time, and they had them at Costco. They came in a three-pack. These are each of the three packs that they had, um, and they were $14.99. These were the three sets that my Costco carried. 
I'm hoping that they come out with more or maybe there are more and I just didn't see them because um, there are a few more books in this series. So I'm going to share with you the books that are in the series and then just kind of a quick little looks, look through. So this pack had Marie Curie, Agatha Christie, and Coco Chanel. Um, they have just really nice illustrations and they just tell the story in such a great way of who these women are. In the back, they have real life photographs um, and a little small biography as well. And then it gives you a place where you can find out more information about that person. So via books, um, and then some of them have museums dedicated to them um, and you can find out more information here. And then there are more books actually in the series than this. This must have been one of the first ones because there's a lot more now, um, but I'll show you that in a second. So anyways, I was just thrilled to find these. So this set has Anne Frank, Georgia O'Keeffe, and Mother Teresa. So I read through Anne Frank first because I was very curious how they were going to handle the Holocaust, and it was done in such a way that is appropriate for children. Um, while not glossing over anything, um, I just found it very, very appropriate. So this is the Anne Frank one. Um, just gorgeous illustrations. Um, and again, in the back, it has a timeline. It has photographs of her and a biography where you can read more information about Anne Frank and also visiting the Anne Frank Museum. This is a look at more of the books um, that are in the series. So the ones I don't have are Rosa Parks, Audrey Hepburn, um, Emmeline Pankhurst, Ella Fitzgerald, Ada Lovelace, Harriet Tubman, and Josephine Baker. So I do hope to get all of them to complete the collection. Um, and then lastly, this pack had Amelia Earhart, which Aubrey loves. Frida, uh, is it Kalo, Kahlo, Frida Kahlo? I'm, Aubrey would know. She knows who Frida is. Um, I need to figure out how to pronounce that better. Um, and Maya Angelou. So loved those books. Now on a completely different book note, <laughs> um, The Babysitter's Club. So I read these when I was a kid and absolutely loved them. I actually have the Babysitter's Club DVD <laughs> and I still watch it as an adult because it's just like that thing that just takes you back and it's like a good wholesome, um, it's a good wholesome show. <laughs> so anyways, they had all of these at um, my thrift store so I picked them up and while well, Aubrey probably won't read these for a couple more years, I did want to have them on hand um, just because, you know, you found them and better than paying full price. So I'll keep my eye out um, for some of them. We've got like one, two, three, no, one, two, I need three, and then we've got four um, and then some higher ones. But anyways, so I thought that would be fun. And then lastly is my planning supplies. So this is my teacher planner for the year. This is the Erin Condren teacher planner. I'm really excited about it. Um, it's gorgeous. It's wonderful. I'm not going to do a full walkthrough because there are many other YouTube videos that will kind of share with you that whole look through of it. But this is the cover that I chose. The cover I really wanted was this one, um, but it didn't come with the teacher planner. You had to order it separately. So I did. Um, and it has like a white erase board on the front cover as well as the back cover. And these this will just peel right off and that will just snap on in its place. I actually use these covers as dividers in my planner. So these will not go to waste. And if I decide to change them out halfway through the year, I can do that. Um, some other planner supplies from Erin Condren. I got these colorful circle stickers and these will go on the dates. Um, let's see, these dates. And this will... Um, section will map out our whole school year and those date those colorful circle dots will just help me know you know they'll be color coded to different things this was a gel pen set that came free with my Erin Condren order so have those for planning this is a pen loop set um, and so I'll be able to stick my pen loop 
onto my back cover and then I've got a spot for my pen all the time. These are the well-kept wipes. So these are wipes that actually erase wet erase markers um, for inside of your covers and different things like that. And then there's also snap-in dashboards. I have some teacher themed snap-in dashboards from last year. They're actually in my um, last year's planner. But this is the idea of them. And then you can use these wet erase markers or a Sharpie and write on here. And then it's not going to smear off. Dry erase will smear off. And then these little wipes will take all of that off. And then lastly is this little pad here. And it's just like a sticky note pad. It has um, a 3M strip on the back that you can just press it into your planner and you've got some sticky notes. So that, my friends, is everything.